Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today I'm going to build an Airbus uh, A319 uh, just uh, out of the box. Uh, I haven't uh, received anything else. I just managed to get that uh, pretty old kit and uh, so I will uh, go ahead and proceed. So I have no instruction sheets this time and no decals uh, coming with it. So let's open the box and see what we have. So. As you probably recognize, this is the Revel kit. Only uh, so far, Revel made uh, a kit for the 319. So we have uh, three clear parts, the cockpit itself and the nav lights that uh, are going to be there. Then on the first sprue, we have our fuselage, the 319, the shorter version of the 320. Uh, we have the gear uh, the, the nose uh, gear bay and the nose gear and the main gear together with the wheels. On uh, the second uh, sprue we have the uh, engines and uh, luckily on that uh, uh, model of uh, Revel you have the options of doing both engines, either the PV2500 or the CF34 if I remember correctly, but I'm not really sure. And uh, so we have the wings, the horizontal stab, and the engine details. So it's a pretty easy kit to build. And uh, for this one, this time I will use some uh, 8 Alpha decal from uh, Mexico. And I will build uh, a Mexican airline this time, as I haven't built uh, many so far. And uh, it will be Volaris Airbus 319 with the LAX Hollywood uh, Special Livery. So, enough of talking, and let's start building! So we're going to uh, start this kit by preparing the parts, and uh, initially we're going to assemble the fuselage together. So I will uh, put the nose wheel uh, gear bay, and then I will add some uh, modeling paste um, on, the, on the front to add some weight to avoid to have the plane uh, sitting on its tail. Then uh, after that we're going to glue uh, the two half of the fuselage together, and uh, of course uh, let it dry. So following these I will use some uh, decals for the windows so for that I will uh, glue all the windows together. The cockpit window will be also uh, on a decal so I will have to add some putty later on and I will fill up all the window uh, holes with some uh, regular glue, let it dry and then cover it with uh, some Tamiya putty. So uh, I will uh, fill also all uh, the panel lines and the gaps with some uh, Tamiya putty. I use the grey one for this one as it gives me a better texture. So while the putty is uh, curing, we are going to uh, assemble uh, the wings together. So for this, as usual, uh, the regular uh, the regular uh, Revel glue and uh, then uh, we're gonna glue the both half of the wings uh, together. Then we're gonna have to uh, let it dry and there was some, uh, I could see there were some gaps and some holes within the flap fairing so I had to fill them up as well with uh, putty to get the proper shape uh, later on. So while my putty was dried now it was time to uh, sand it down and that's as you know a pretty long process of modeling. So for this I use a different type, uh, I use initially a 600 sandpaper with water and then uh, I go down up to uh, 800 and uh, sometimes even a 1000 um, sandpaper and uh, like that I'm able to uh, get a pretty good result. So what I did after that, I rescribe all the panels. So for this I use a razor blade saw uh, to rescribe all the panel lines who have been filled with the putty and then I use a tabia uh, rescribing panel and uh, then I can remove and uh, put the panel line as they used to be uh, initially. After that we're gonna start also uh, sanding down our wings and to make sure that we have uh, the correct shape. Then uh, when this, well, uh, this was uh, done and completed it was time to add them to the model itself. So uh, I had to do a little bit of work as uh, I was trying to avoid to have some gaps between the under part of the wing and the fuselage itself. During that time, uh, we will prepare as well uh, the cowl anti-ice on, um, on those engines and uh, the problems I have is uh, some of the 
panel lines are uh, outside on the on that uh, Revel model. Then we're going to fill up uh, all the inside of the uh, engine intakes and let him dry for a little bit. So while this is happening, we're going to fill all the gaps uh, on those uh, on those wings as well and the junction between the wings and the fuselage. So we're now going to work on those engines. So I'm going to remove the uh, extra putty uh, on those uh, engine intake. And uh, for that, I use uh, some blades and then I paint them with a mix of uh, gray and uh, metallic uh, color together and that will uh, reproduce basically the interior of those uh, engine intake. I also use some uh, dark uh, gray for the exhaust and uh, the outside part. I also painted the fan disc on the same uh, mix, the same color and then I will use uh, another color for the engine cone. After that I decided to send down uh, all uh, the extra putty on the uh, engine junction. So we are now going to close the engines, of course, and uh, use both halves, put uh, the uh, turbine and the engine fan uh, together, and then uh, glue uh, both half uh, on the same side. And then we'll be able to uh, let them dry, and then after that there will be also some uh, gap filling with some uh, extra putty later on. And uh, after this, we are uh, now going to uh, paint them as well. And uh, I'll have to paint the uh, engine color basically uh, together and then I'll be able to uh, put basically the, the company logo on the engine so I used a, a white clear white color then uh, I did some uh, use some masking tape and then after that I was able to put the putty and the side so we're getting on the last part of that construction so we put the plane on the paint booth and now uh, it's time to paint the Koroga which is the inside part of uh, those wings and for that it's a mix of uh, dark gray and metallic paint so while uh, the paint is curing, it was time to uh, sand down and remove the extra putty on the engines. And uh, after that, uh, while the, this will be uh, done with a proper uh, smooth surface, we're going to add uh, some uh, more mask. Basically, I will use some masking tape uh, all over the Koroga of these uh, wings. And then I will have to uh, cut it at a proper shape. And then we'll be able to paint uh, the uh, engine, basically the wings, on a light uh, gray color. Now, now we are going to uh, put the last coat uh, of uh, clear white on the, that aircraft, on that Airbus 319. And uh, we're going to use basically the, the regular uh, white from uh, Tamiya. And uh, I will make an even uh, layer and then uh, we're going to have to uh, let it cure. Time to prepare the uh, undercarriage of the aircraft. So for that, I use uh, some uh, regular uh, colors from uh, Tamiya, basically uh, a matte black, and then I use some uh, metallic, dark metallic uh, gun uh, color, basically for the uh, brakes. And then I was able to uh, add them all together, and then I glue the undercarriage to the to the wings and the fuselage, basically. So we are now going to start the decaling process. So for this, I was using uh, some uh, decal from uh, 8 Alpha, a uh, Mexican brand. I have to say that those decals are very thin, uh, very, very nice to work with, and uh, they normally give uh, a pretty nice uh, result. So I was uh, using those. For that, I had to use as well a little bit of, um, of a solution, a uh, solution for a decal solution, basically. and. Uh, uh, to use on the irregular surfaces. So uh, while uh, this was uh, all done, I will have to uh, do the final uh, touch-up for that model.
it's now time to do the final touch up such as the nav light uh, that I was uh, using basically um, some uh, red colors and the green colors for the nav lights and uh, I will add also the winglets so were painted in uh, in black color now those engines need some uh, some uh, cowl anti-ice so for that I use a regular uh, metal color for uh, the uh, engine lips that I've been uh, putting on both sides then uh, we will have to add as well uh, the uh, engine uh, exhaust with uh, another metallic color a little bit uh, dull and then we'll be using some uh, weathering material to uh, give the impression of uh, different um, colors as well so uh, after that we are going to do uh, some uh, a little extra more antennas as well uh, nav lights and uh, after that we'll be able to uh, release the model for the final stage And this is the final result of that uh, Airbus A319 from uh, Revel on scale uh, 144 with uh, 8 alpha decals for uh, a Volaris Mexican airline with the special decals of uh, LAX. Uh. So I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will uh, see you soon for another uh, kit review and another build review. Thank you for watching.